Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix the Neato integration that has just broken in today's 2021.1 update. Check it out. Now, this is a bit off topic from the basic videos that I've been doing, but as I've got to fix this for myself, I thought I may as well share it with you guys as it may help somebody else out. So to carry on with this video, I'm presuming that you previously had the Neato integration installed and you've just updated to the latest version of Home Assistant. So the Neato integration now requires an OAuth2 authentication. So there's a couple of steps we'll need to follow in order to get that up and working. In order for this integration to now work, your Home Assistant's instance will need to be accessible via HTTPS. For this demonstration, we're going to be using a Home Assistant's instance that's connected to Nabucasa. This instance has a valid SSL certificate and is accessible via HTTPS. To carry on with this video, your Home Assistant instance needs to be accessible via HTTPS. So first of all, we're going to need to visit the Neato developer website. Here you can log in with your current Neato username and password. Now this username and password is just the password you use to log into the Neato app in order to first register your Neato vacuum. So for the name, if you enter your current Neato Vacuum's name, when the integration reloads, it will carry on working without making any changes. So for example, if your name is currently vacuum.steve, enter Steve here. So enter the name of the device, a brief description of the device, and then the redirect URL. This will be your HTTPS instance, followed by forward slash auth, forward slash external, forward slash callback. You can leave terms of service and privacy both blank, but make sure to tick public profile, control robot and maps. Once that's done, you'll be presented with a page like this saying you've successfully created your application. If you just make a note of your client ID and secret because we'll need them in a second. Also make sure you have all three scopes available here. If you haven't, hit the edit button and just add those on. Next, you want to go into the Home Assistant file editor and open up your configurations.yaml file. Here we're going to add a new Neato entry and you're going to need to enter the client ID and client secret. If you're using a secrets.yaml file, you can add those into your secrets. If, you're, if not, then just enter the details manually like this. Save the configuration, come back to your server controls, check your configuration is valid and if it is, just restart Home Assistant. Once Home Assistant is restarted, you might get a pop-up to say that the Neato configuration needs to be reconfigured. You can either ignore it or just remove that configuration. Once Home Assistant's restarted, you want to come into your integrations, do a search for Neato and add Neato. It should then take you to the Neato site and ask you to authorize your Neato device. Click authorize and it will take you back into Home Assistant. You'll then get a pop-up to say that it's been successful, assign where the device lives and click finish. You should then be able to go into the Neato integration and view all of the entities for your Neato device. Providing you gave your Neato device the same name, all of your entity cards, automations, scripts and scenes should all carry on working. And as we can see here, I can control my Neato device again, view its last clean and map and all of the other Neato things that we could do before. And there we have it guys, your Neato device set up in the latest version of Home Assistant using Neato's new OAuth configuration. If this video has helped you out, give it a like rating and consider subscribing. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.